<laughs> we got Buddy and Jim over here in the Action Craft. And we are replacing a live well cartridge. It's burned up here. And let me pan the camera around. Okay, so we're gonna follow these black and brown wires down to the butt connections. You said butt. I did say butt. And we are gonna cut this out, go to West Marine and see if they have the part. Okay, the pump is out. Looks pretty rough. It smells worse. And we have a couple in stock that we will pick up tomorrow morning. Simple as that. New live well. Buddy with a new heat gun. Is it hot? Feeling the heat. Nice. Feeling the heat. So we're back on the craft and we're going to be cutting the old butt connectors off. You said butt. You did say butt. And we'll take a little bit off so we have some exposed wire. It's beautiful. Teamwork makes the dream work. So this is going to be about a week long fix and then it's going to be getting these swapped out with Deutsch connectors? Am I saying that right? Yeah. Deutsch connections? As in German. A German connection. And the reason being is we want to be able to quickly remove and replace a live well in the event that we are in a tournament and the pump fails. It's pretty common. They're cheap parts. They're made overseas and... Made in Mexico. Made in Mexico. Red things that we're putting on here called butt connectors. You said butt. Yep, you said butt. And what we're going to be doing here is putting that exposed metal on the wire inside on both ends. The electrical current will run through there. We'll pinch the ends so they're watertight with the crimping tool. And then we'll use our new heat gun that we picked up today and make sure they are. Nice and snug around the wire, so absolutely no water, moisture, humidity can affect the connection. Nice. And then give it a pull. Yep, doesn't come off. Perfect. So we were looking at the strainer, and it looked kind of green on the outside. So, uh... After pulling it off, we could see why it has a green hue to it now. It is caked with seaweed. So definitely some negligence on my end. I've probably never pulled this off to clean the strainer. All right. Now you know. Now we know for the future. <laughs> First, let's get the spinach out of here. I wish you guys could smell what we're smelling right now. Oh. It was like low tide rotten eggs and a hint of mold, like mustard. Screen is broken. See right there? Yeah. You need to get a new sea strainer. We'll add that to the list. metal coming out of the wires and we'll be putting them onto the other side of this butt connection we'll be fishing early in the morning tomorrow out of jupiter florida um, the beginning of the mullet run is happening right now and there's a ton of big snook pushed up in the intercoastal and the loxahatchee river estuary so we'll be uh 
testing the live oil out and hopefully finding some live baits tomorrow. Um, if not, we'll just be throwing artificial topwaters and uh, see what we can do. We're gonna now take our heat gun and uh, snug up the sides here, make sure they're nice and watertight and airtight. Before we do that, um, let's take a little break, turn the battery switch on, and test this puppy. Ooh, look what do you think? Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Ooh, licky there. Okay, we're spinning. Let it run for a little bit, because what it was doing before is it was doing this with the old one, and then it would short after about a minute of running. So let's let's give it a little bit and see what it does. On. At this point with the old one, it would have shut off already, for sure. It was giving me like... The old one was corroded. Yeah. I think it was just having trouble running because it was so corroded. I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna shut her down. I like the, I like the soft hum of that live wall right now. It was kind of sounding like, um, like metal grinding. And what I think happened is that corrosion inside the unit was almost like rattling parts inside of it. So every time I was flipping the live wall on it, it just sounded horrendous. Okay, so now we got the heat gun, the new toy. <clears throat> we have a good seal on both sides it's so wrapped all the way around the mountain like it's supposed to be yeah it looks pretty clean nice perfect and then in comparison to the other one we still have to do see the gap there we're trying to close that gap around the wire with the heat gun if salt water gets onto these wires it doesn't cause uh it causes corrosion but not just at the butt connector the corrosion actually will go into the wire and start acting as a cancer and uh, ruining the impedance of the wire so it doesn't work anymore. Okay, so now we are beginning the process on the other connection. All right, to get in the groove. Well, in order to get this seal to lock, you have to get these right here mm -hmm. into the grooves on the side of that and then when you turn it it'll lock in place so yeah that red arrow is on the top for this one yes yes it's locked in place let's go okay Houston we have ignition I was a little scared to manhandle it there buddy <laughs> I didn't want to break any of the other the rest of the pump here I wasn't sure how strong that would be all right, so what we're gonna do now is zip tie all this fun stuff. Just like that. What do you think? Looks factory to me. Yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say it looks about ship shape. Cool. We'll take a video of it running tomorrow morning, hopefully with some finger mullet inside the well. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for, uh, for watching the first video of an action craft repair. I'm sure there'll be many more in the future. <laughs> <laughs> what does boat stand for, buddy? Break out another thousand. <laughs>